All right, please now to be joined by Jack Miller, former St. John Titan, former Michigan Wolverine, now part of the BCSN family. Okay, Jack, we just heard the pigskin professor, Mike Jewell, talk about this one. You are going to be on the call for Northview and Perrysburg, two teams, I don't want to say different directions, but coming out of two very different weeks. Let's start with Perrysburg first. They're on a roll. They get the win over Springfield, shock the world kind of. You saw them back when they played Whitmer yeah. and had a really rough game. What do you expect out of them this week? Well, we'll see. I don't know. I think that it's a great way to end the season for them, getting that big shocking win last week and, and to come back like that when you really – everything's kind of gone for the season, yeah. right? And you're not playing for a whole lot besides your pride and your seniors and your pride in your home, hometown and the school and all that. So uh, to, to play like that down the stretch here, I think it's important for them. It's important to see how, how they respond and finish this thing out. For Northview, they had a hiccup last week, and so to bounce back and still be in contention for the NLL, that's what they're playing for. There's plenty on the table still for them. So I think, you know, obviously a, a break in their success and kind of regroup and, and bounce back, and we'll see what happens. It should be a good one. Well, I mean, you've been there before. I mean, these are a bunch of high school kids. They were undefeated, maybe playing above what people thought they would yeah. as far as Northview is concerned, and then they get hit like that and lose by seven points. Is it tough to get back up the week after, or is all that going away? I think it's tough to get up, but I also think that maybe it's a reality check and something that they needed, right? 7-0, and kind of rolling, never been there before, not sure how to manage all these expectations and, and, and all the love you're getting. And so I think maybe reality check's not the worst thing in the world for them. Certainly they would like to be undefeated and rolling into that, and they're not in control of their own destiny, which certainly hurts. But I think that, that – they're, they're, a, they're a good team. They're obviously very well coached. They have great senior leadership. So if they focus on those things and kind of settle down, regroup, they still have a lot to play for. There's still a lot out in front of them. And this is a good opportunity this week to come in, solidify a win that they should get, and see what happens from here. And then on the other end of the spectrum, just one more quick note on Perrysburg. Uh, a team, as we mentioned, not a lot of seniors. Right. The record hasn't been that good. But they get the win. Now they've got a game against a team that has a chance at a league title. And then their rivals in Week 10, I mean, they can ride out kind of on the sunset here. And, and what looked like a sure losing season, they could finish 500. Yeah, well, look, I mean, they're not playing for a lot past what they have in front of them with the, the remainder of the season, right? The playoffs are out of the picture. But it, it comes down to pride. It comes down to hometown and leaving a mark for those seniors to go out on a high note. There's plenty still there. Like you said, playing the rivalry with Maumee. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of things still going on. They can salvage the season somewhat. So it's important for them and it makes this game interesting Friday night I'm looking forward to calling yeah, it no question so Jack Miller will be on the call with Tim Clagg and I cannot wait to see what jacket Tim will be wearing <laughs> this weekend please don't try to outdo him you might I won't I couldn't do it yeah. I won't try it